When I was younger, I used to feel financially insecure. I used to say things like money doesn't matter and money isn't everything. But I said these things because I was still in a poverty mindset. And this was a means of deflecting away from that insecurity. Because here's the truth. Money isn't everything, but money does affect almost every aspect of our daily lives. Do you go to work 40 hours a week because you love your job or you do it because you earn money? Because most people don't want to be away from their family and friends for 40 hours a week. They do it to support their family and to survive. Today we're going to talk about how to get over financial insecurity and a poverty mindset and to develop a abundance mindset. So what is a poverty mindset? A poverty mindset is a mindset that influences behaviors consistent with the beliefs that money shouldn't be spent, opportunities are limited, and any risk at all is dangerous. Any success is temporary and non-replicable. We see this a lot in low socioeconomic status communities. So what is an abundance mindset? An abundance mindset is basically the opposite. It's the belief there is plenty out there for everyone. To simplify, if I ask if you think you could become a millionaire, a person with an abundance mindset would obviously say yes, and a person with a poverty mindset would say no. Keep in mind, this isn't just confined to money. This can be applied to career, dating, or really any opportunity in life. So how do we escape the poverty mindset? For this video, I picked out four easy ways you can apply today to escape a poverty mindset. Number one, set boundaries. This is probably the most important. The first thing you can do to escape a poverty mindset is learn how to control your impulses. How do we control our impulses? You must learn to set boundaries for yourself, and this can be as passive as just budgeting so you know how much money you have left for the month, or as aggressive as cutting up your debit cards or your credit cards, and just only dealing with cash. This is a little bit more aggressive, but for some people, this might be what you need. So the second thing we can do to escape a poverty mindset is have a purpose for your money. When you don't have a purpose for your money, you tend to spend money frivolously. For me, that purpose was building generational wealth. That meant that one, I had to take large portions of my paycheck and put it into a Vanguard account. And then two, it also meant that I had to become financially literate so that I could show my children what it looks like to be financially literate. It's more of a be no do kind of mentality. It's not just about having money, but it's also teaching your children the skills necessary to build that wealth. This actually leads me to point number three, iron sharpens iron. Surround yourself with people who are more financially literate or stable than you. Find the path they use to achieve their wealth and maybe see if it works out for you. And then four, learn to say no. When you are growing and trying to improve yourself as a person, you might feel tension from your friends or your family and they may not be supportive of your actions. You might hear your friends or family say, oh, you're cheap or you're stingy, you never wanna go out and have fun. And it's sadly, sometimes it's the people that are actually closest to us that actually hold us back from reaching our full potential. You must learn the power of saying no. Your family will try to urge you, or your friends will try to urge you to spend money you don't have, but learn to set those boundaries. So we're gonna do a quick recap. Number one, learn to set boundaries. Number two, have a purpose for your money. Number three, iron sharpens iron. Number four, learn the power of saying no. Well, that's all we have for today, and hopefully this video will help you break out of a poverty mindset and help you reach your fullest potential as a man. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Till next time.